okay we're making progress we're making progress i would like to be able to fly <laughs> maybe by the end of this session i will be able to fly and get eggs faster or at least the ones that i you know like the rare dens faster the black fiend has been sighted in roberto's hometown alborax and may be connected to the black blight first you must head to away somewhere hunters are assembling to plot their next move okay I was thinking there is like a poison hammer that I could make, but I don't know if I should, um... See, I don't know if I should do it. Like, I guess, like, the damage I'm doing isn't that great already. I mean, it's okay. I upgraded the hammer the one time, and it actually boosted the fuck up, but, like... Hmm, I'm not sure if I should, like... Because it's, like, uh, more of, like, a support, right? So maybe I should try to do, uh... Oh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, like a poison thing? Because then doesn't- isn't there an armor set that's like, oh, like, status ailments up? Was it the nurse- Nursilla one? Nope, it was one of these, I feel like. And maybe not. <laughs> maybe I read it wrong. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Oh, this one, I think? It might have been this one. It might have- Extends the duration of poison, noxious poison burn. This one might work. This one actually might work. Okay, I'm gonna make this one upgrade it because we're going to the desert, right? And you need the cold drinks. Unless you just need it. No, I don't think the desert gives you it. I think it's the volcano. You have to wait until the volcano, so. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? Maybe we'll make it. This looks so goofy. <laughs> oh, I can upgrade it. I can upgrade it twice. Okay, hold on. Let me just... No! Okay. How much would this be? No! Damn it. Okay. I mean, it's cute. I can change the color, so... Okay, I think actually... Oh, I think I needed to be more. I think I needed more... More whatever parts. Oh, what the fuck is a bumble pumpkin? Oh, a gargoyle feather. I don't think I've seen these yet. But then again, I might have... They might have been in the... I feel like they should have been in the like the first area. Dungeon foresty bit. But I don't think they are. They might be in a different place. Heck, they might have been in that rainforest and I just missed them completely. And then for this, Io Prey. Okay. Okay, look, there you go. We upgraded. Okay, defense. I, I, oh, it's because I still have that. You know what? I'll keep that until I, uh. Until I find something else. Maybe, maybe it's one with like, uh. Maybe like Iron Wall L. Again. Yeah, here you are. We've heard things are bad here, Mr. Hunter Captain, sir. And you came all the way here to tell me what I already know. Captain! Roberto, we've been waiting for you. We've got a real situation here. Alborax has been attacked by the Black Fiend. The Black Fiend? Is everyone okay? Well, we've evacuated the villagers. But new quicksand has formed. We can't even get close to the village. At this rate, the villagers won't have a home to return to. Leave it to us! We've got this like a Lagambi's got big ears! Why have you brought riders? I have no intention of letting them join us. These guys can help. Trust me on this one. Well, if you say so. We have other things to worry about right now. <laughs> Yay! Hello, sir. 
Roberto, you came for us. Chief, you're okay. Yes, I am uninjured. The village, however. As long as the quicksand remains, we will be unable to return to the village. And meanwhile, there's the Black Fiend, or rather, the Black Blight. It will only get stronger the longer we are delayed. Did you just say the Black Blight? So, the Black Fiend really is? While it rampaged that night, we were unable to determine its identity. But it was a great horned beast, covered in a black mist. And its fearsome roar shook the very earth. Hmm, that could be the Diablos, infected by the Black Blight, perhaps. A uh, Diablos? Yeah, they're a terror in these parts. Those things are freaking enormous. And yet, it's acting all strange. It doesn't normally move far from its lair, and it rarely attacks people. We gotta do something about it now that we know the Blight is involved. Hold your horses. We must deal with the quicksand, or we won't even get close. It's likely being caused by Cephadrome, those dune-diving sand sharks. There are three suspicious places. We'll head for the Great Sand Whirlpool. All right! Leave the rest to us! You? Hmm. Well, all right. But you let us know as soon as you find anything out. I want you kids to go to two places. The tre Tresse, Trees, Trees Dunes, and the Trees Salt Caves. You be sure to make your preparation before you go. Got it? I want to see the Great Sand Whirlpool. Better find out where it is first. Well, get to it, buddy. This bit is on you. Then everyone shall watch as I gallantly solve its mysteries. I'm possum. A whirlpool of quicksand stands between you and the village of Alborax. Large monsters must have caused this. Find the three monsters that hide underground. Barith, Daimyo, Hermitar, and, and Cephadrome and get rid of them. Okay. I think Daimyo, Hermit, Hermitars. Wait, actually, yeah, we didn't even fight the original, like the really big original Hermitars. Aren't the Daimyo ones the purple ones? Or no? I think it's literally called Purple Hermitars. Sweet baby Rajang, it's a Daimyo Hermitar for real. I think the purple ones are literally just called Purple Daimyo Hermitars. Or since it can't fit, maybe it's like P Daimyo Hermitar. I forgot what this thing does. It might be a technical attacker, but I don't know. Yep. <laughs> That's a bad move for it to have. Wow, this is a beefy Arzurus. Arzurus? Arzuros? What do we call it again? Arzurus. <laughs> no. Oh no, oh no, you got it. <laughs> you, you gonna get fucked.
but yeah, you know what I mean? Well, that's up there. I mean, I guess if they don't eat meat, it makes sense, but like... <laughs> beaten the daimyo hermitar but it seems it wasn't causing the quicksand wait yeah also what are we fighting a cephadrome cephadrome daimyo hermitar and a bara oh it's a barrel feline i don't have any bombs hmm maybe this is the barith then Cause there's like a mud pool. There's literally a mud pool. Well, they made the bears more orange than they usually are. Oh my, look how orange you look. What? Can you please? Can you please? You're my technical attacker. Do the technical attack. Thank you. The other one was way harder than this. Now that was close. Good thing it didn't get the jump on us. Seems the cause of the quicksand isn't here. Well, we checked out both places. We didn't run into a cephadrome. How peculiar. Well, pause for a second. What's this? There's a black scale here. Isn't this from a cephadrome? I'll be a Conga's uncle. It was those sandy cephadrome all along. I knew it. But this scale is black. I sure hope it's not blighted or anything clawful like that. Let's head to Oasum and report. <laughs> oh, we solved the mystery of the quicksand! It's a cephadrome! Hmm. Dude, that's a total bummer. They hide in the sand. Real hard to take down, bro. Then what are we supposed to do? Well, you've got the weapons. Now all you need is the courage. <laughs> weapons? 
Courage? Courage? Ha! Those are nothing more than outdated trash. Trash belongs in the trash can. Jumpin' Jaggy! This guy makes my first stand on end! Like, what's your deal, bros? I've been researching monsters for five decades. <laughs> for someone with my genius, it would be child's play to solve your predicament. Predicaments are our specialty! When it comes to slaying monsters, weapons and courage are superfluous! The greatest tool in solving a problem is the mind. That end. The ability to fully utilize the power of one's genius. Right, Mr. Doctor, sir? <laughs> I was supposed to say that, you runt! <laughs> now behold the fruits of my genius and ability! Observe the apparatus attached to its body. This allows me to control it with great ease. <laughs> Let the monsters defeat each other. There is no need for us to dirty our own hands. All you have to do is press the button like so. Dude, that's not right. You crossed a line, bro! <laughs> Right or not, this will be your deliverance from the terror of that Cephadrome. Take a good look, all of you. This is... The beginning of a bright new era in human history! <laughs> Interrupt me again and you're monster chum! Whoopsie! Now let's get on with the show! That wasn't just any normal bear off. Are they riders too? No! Riders are completely different! Riders don't manipulate monsters! To us hunters, you are the same. You both use a technique to control monsters. It's completely different! I know! We'll show you the difference, right, buddy? But how? Yaha! Riders and their monsties are linked by their bonds of kinship, you know? So we'll go and sort out the quicksand with our amazing bonds! All right, buddy! Let's go slow down some quicksand! The source of the quicksand was the, was the Cephadrome. A mysterious scientist appeared with some kind of mecha monster and a strange mood, and a strange mood descended. The black blight still needs to be pu purified. Prepare yourself and head for the quicksand, okay? I mean, you have to fight it eventually anyway, but... Didn't they do the same thing in the second one, too? <laughs> I think they were, they were there doing science-y shit then, too. Oh, wait, maybe... Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. I could have used a catavan stand. Uh, you know what? How about that? We just go in the... Do we use a catavan stand? And go to the middle. How about that? Or actually, isn't it closer to the, wherever this place is? A cephadrome. Hmm. I can't remember if they're... And I have one. <laughs> I can't remember if they're, like, technical... Technical or speed... He might be technical. Hmm. Looks like we got here before Manelgar. That crazy doctor is up to no good. I'd bet my whiskers on it. 
Whenever I see him, my fur stands on end like there's no tomorrow. Not good. You believe me, right? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Look out! It's a Cephadrome! It's time to ride, buddy! We'll show everyone the power of our kinship! Oh, paralyzing attacks and water, huh? Oh, you know what I should have had? Oh, shoot, the Sonic, the Sonic whatever thing. I should have put, I have some and I didn't put, well, <laughs> I didn't put any on. Damn it. Okay, maybe we should switch. Okay, it's like it's not doing it, then all of a sudden, boom, it gets it right. Okay, maybe when it's mad, it does... Hmm. Hey! And that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. to this ignorant world how great I truly am! What a distracting racket! Shut it up for me, will you? Huh, that's weird. Button isn't working. Curses! What a time for the controls to fail! <laughs> Oh, you thought that was the boss fight. Here's the true boss fight. Are we still dying? I like how he knew, how how Naviru knew what it was like. Oh, it's a Baroth EX. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> we didn't give it a name.
Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah. What are you doing? Stand aside! I just saved you. Don't get in my way! You've done enough! The poor Bear Rock can't even move anymore! Huh? huh? Cheval, is that you? Threats to people must be exterminated. No exceptions. Huh? Still following the Rider's code? How naive. Maybe we'll never see eye to eye. But if you're a real Rider, you should focus on stopping the Black Blight! <laughs> Cheval! It's like he's a totally different person now! So... He's a friend of yours? Hmm. Monsters are a manifestation of the blessings of nature. It behooves us to show them proper respect and gratitude. To manipulate them in any way is an abomination. Hold up, Chief. These riders aren't like the guys who took control of this bear off. I want to believe you, Roberto. But why do you trust them so much? Because I see a purpose in them. The environment's changing and the monster population's taking a nosedive. But now we've got someone who nurtures and cares for monsters. I think riders might just be the key to preventing disaster. I'm not convinced. It looks to me like they're the ones inviting disaster. Hmm. Riders, you say? Roberto. I take it you disagree with Fahali's view. I don't know, but it's way too early to just condemn these kids outright. Eh? How about it, Ryder? Care to show us what you're made of? Hmm. Roberto. Let's do this, buddy. Time to prove we can be hmm. heroes. You've made it through to Alvarax. There, the black fiend of blighted Diablos lies in wait. It'll be, it will not be an ordinary fight, but you must show everyone your true power as a rider. Okay, I'm ready. I'm not actually ready, but actually, you know what? We we made it through semi unscathed. Look, we got all our health back. I'm ready. Actually, maybe we should save here, and then I'm ready. I just want to get to the point where I can fly. That's all I want. Hello, Mr. Diablos. Are actually, are the normal Diablos, because I know there's black ones, so are the black ones, like, the females? Kind of like how Rathi- well, Rathians are like a completely different, like, species, kind of. It's not necessarily, like, green Rathalos, right? <laughs> What the devil Joe's going on here? It's the Black Blight! Looks like this whole village has been blighted! So this is the Black Blight, huh? Oh, look out! Huh? Looks like the Black Fiend is actually a Diablos! Wow, we said that before. We said that before. Maybe it was just like, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Or like, what is it, confirmation?
Damn, isn't it weak to ice? Well, whatever. Damn, this is huge. Oh, I should. Damn it! I kept forget. I forgot to put the items on the thing. You know, like the whatever bomb, the sonic bomb. The when it goes underground, you, you can whatever. <laughs> it looks like this one is blighted too. We got a week in the blight. See, in the second one, you can actually use items when you're, when you're, and you can use their, the monster skills when you're riding it. That kind of sucks. I can't use an item, or whatever. Hope it doesn't hurt too much. I, it's not bad. Oh, okay, they got me that time. Let's keep it up. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to slow it down. Oops. You know what? If we get it again, then I'll I'll, I'll show it. Not so fast without its tail, eh? I guess we'll just use it now. Wait, who is it hitting? Who is it hitting though? Who is it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what? I'm kind of impressed it's not it's not aiming at me with that shit. That guy taught me how to use how to make mega potions. And I'm not <laughs> I should have made some. Damn. Oh, we might mm, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> 
Okay. We survived. I think it's dying. Your kinship stone's glowing! Save the day! <laughs> you took down one Diablos. Don't get full of yourself. Huh? All over the world, there are still people suffering from the blight. Every new day means one more possible tragedy. Don't you get it? <sighs> Do we know what the blight is or why it's eating away at the world? No! But we know that it attacked our home. And that it must be destroyed. Cheval, you don't have to do this alone. We can achieve more if we work together. Shut up! What good are you? I lost everything! I can stop the Blight without you! All I need is my will to fight. My own will and my own strength! We're done. Huh. Oh. Huh. Riders, eh? What a nuisance. Okay, what can I? I think this means though that I can I can use my my rarity for monsties. Good job, Rider. You too, little dude. Thanks to you guys, the village was saved. Cheers, kid. Really? Aw, I think I might blush. You also have my thanks. You're not just any old rider, are you? Perhaps we should have realized sooner that you might be the true rider in form. The true rider in form? There is an old legend told through the generations. It speaks of a rider astride a white dragon. It is said that in ancient times, a great disaster befell the land. And the savior was this rider, fully in harmony with his monster. Well, you may not be astride a white dragon, but you're a hero to our village. Hear that, buddy? We're heroes! Awesome! Welcome to our humble village. We have prepared a residence for your stay. Please, think of our village as home. Your wishes are our commands. Well, that sounds like an offer we can't refuse, right, buddy? 
Now we can finally move out of Roberto's place. And there was me, lending you a place out of the kindness of my heart. Try tidying up once in a while. You look a bit catty to be my mother. Attitude's about right, though. But hey, now we can say we're from the same village, right? Oh, <gasps> yeah. Hey there. All thanks to you, the village has returned to normal. Thank you, Ryder. We can now start to rebuild the village. But even if we call the villagers back, there's a problem that needs to be fixed. As a result of the Diablos' attack, our water source has become blocked. We simply can't live here with... Yeah, we simply can't live here while a large rock is blocking the water supply. What should we do? The chief and the others are in a bind. Buddy, how about we help the village with our monsties? A Yan Kutku and Azoro Salagambi. A monsty with the rock breaker riding action would be perfect for this job. Finally, peace has returned to Alborax, but the village is still in ruins. Maybe breaking the rock holding back the spring will restore the village? Do you have a monster with the rock breaker's ability? Like a Yan Kutku or a Lagambi? I have in our Zoros. Are you kidding me? Look at the size of it. No wonder they were stumped. But with the rock breaker writing action, we can turn this pebble into dust. Look, it's the spring. I guess the villagers won't be going thirsty anymore. Let's go let Chief Noma know. Hello. Hey there. The village's spring is thank you. We've been saved by a true rider. I wish to give you something. We've passed this instrument down the generations along with the rider legend. It's called the rider's flute and I wish to entrust it to you. Legend has it that the flute can command a monsty expedition party. I don't know much more about it, but I don't doubt that you'd be able to use it. Well, off to repair the village buildings. We asked some felines to help us out, but it seems that extreme heat of the desert got to them on their way here. If we had, if we just had a, the Grand Felvine, we could restore them to health. I guess we gotta pitch in and help now. Grand Felvine? How bothersome. Oh, I know. How about we send the Monsty Expedition Party the Chief mentioned? Maybe the Monsties will find us something useful. We can check out the Monsty Expedition Parties at the stables. Alborax is nearly restored to its former glory. Now you must gather Grand Felvine using your Monsty Expedition Party. You can send out your Expedition Party at the stables. Grand Felvine should convince the felines to help. Don't I have one? Why do I- maybe it's different. Why do I feel like I like have something like that? Oh, aged Felvine. That's what I have. Okay. <laughs> I see. Like normal catnip won't work. I see. You need, you need like the super catnip. You can send monsties in the stables to explore and search for items and materials. Successful expeditions may yield more or rarer items. Different materials can be found in each area. Expeditions are more likely to succeed if you send monsties with elements best suited to that area. You can select what monsties will prioritize- wait. Wait, you can select what monsties will prioritize during expedition- uh, expeditions. This will affect the items and XP gained, as well as the amount of time an expedition takes. Sending out monsties of the same element beside each other will make an expedition more likely to succeed. Choose your party members wisely. The time the expedition takes is displayed on the screen. Navi Ru will let you know when it returns. Then you can check the results at the stables. Wait, but how are we- it's not even on the list. It's not even on the list. So did it work? <laughs> did it work? Did we get some? I feel like I just got like a bunch of herbs. You know what? We got one in story. Hey there. Extraordinary. You got this grand felvine for the felines. I cannot thank you enough. Let's get this to the felines. Once we finish restoring the village, we're, good to, we're going to construct a rider arena. It'll be of great use in testing your skills. You should use it when we've built it. They're planning to build a rider arena? That's that's so possum. It's clawsome. You know, you can really see the village coming back to life all around you. 
Witness my power. If Mew wanna build it, if you, if Mew wanna build a house, where the cats to come to? Mew can safely leave the work in our paws. There'll be no cat napping now that we've got the grand fell vine. Thanks for your efforts today. We built lots of possum houses. I have to say, we are pretty awesome. Nothing beats Felvine soda after a hard day's work. It's so refreshing. Awesome, buddy! You've made a home for yourself in the outside world. My duty here is... done. Now for me to find a place of my own. Don't be so glum, buddy. I'm not saying we'll part ways. You're still pretty helpless without the great Maviru, so... It's best that I stick with you just a little longer, eh? Right, partner? Yeah! I'm proud of you, buddy. I wouldn't trade our experiences for even the world's most delicious donut. You know why? Cause you're my partner! You won't catch me saying this again, though. One time only, buddy. All right, now let's go get some donuts. Oh, hi! If you want donuts, why not visit the Hall of Scriveners? If you do, I'll give you some of my homemade specialties. Yeah, you! It's the Scrivener's Vice Captain Lappin, right? Pappin, but please call me VC Pappy. VC Puppy? Got it! About them donuts? Let me tell you, I put a special ingredient in them. You'll love it. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> like, oh okay, business. forget about Oh, we're talking about some off, some weed donuts waste, now? Right? The Scriveners wish for your cooperation in puzzling the situation out, Ryder. And also, we'd be grateful if you could tell us about the right of channeling. We've been told that the Baroth had been artificially enhanced somehow. Do the right of channeling and artificial enhancement differ? We don't know. They're completely different. Yeah? How do you know about channeling? Because I told them about it. Lilia! Whoa! Are you a grown-up now? You totally look like one! <laughs> Thanks, Naviru. I've still got a little while to go, though. I've become a member of the Royal Scriveners. It's been a while, huh? I've been hearing all about your adventures. You saved Alvarak's village. That's so cool! I can't believe it! You've become such a great rider! I'm so proud of you! This is not the time for soppy reunions! Leave that for later! We have to do our duty! Oh yeah! That's right! We should get a move on then! Let's go together to the Hall of Scriveners! Oh hey! Are you really ready to go right away? Be sure to make adequate preparations. Come speak to us at the entrance uh, to the village when you finish preparing. Okay, I just want to get to the next place. I just want to get to the. I just want to be able to fly. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want. I mean, I guess if we're fighting something again, I don't. I don't mind. I don't think so. Maybe it's just gonna be like a big ass like story exposition bit. <laughs> I am glad to see that you have made it back safely. I have heard all about your adventures in Gilda Garen, which leads me to the next point. I have heard why you chose to come this way. The Scriveners have been investigating the so-called doctor who was spotted in Oasum. It would appear that the Baroth in question had been artificially enhanced by means of power-boosting armor. The reckless manipulation of monsters is a direct and flagrant contravention of the Hunter's Code. Moreover, it is an offense against the laws of nature. From the evidence we have gathered, it would appear highly likely that this doctor comes from the Dovin Volcano. Ah! D Dovin Volcano? And yet, it pains me to report that the shipping route to Dovin Volcano is currently closed. Dovin Volcano is a perilous location. Reports have also been received of frequent monster attacks on nearby villages and their inhabitants. That is why I require your assistance. Maybe you and your monsties could find a way to get to the Dovin Volcano. Yeah! No way! We're not going to the Dovin Volcano! I've only got nine lives! I just have this feeling that it's 
really dangerous over there. Super clawful. Hmm. So you will help us? Wonderful. You really think we can do this? Well, I guess Poogie's my fly. Yeah. Well, if you've got your heart set on going, you're gonna need a possum guide, of course. Thank you. Please accept my gratitude for your cooperation. Please make good your preparations for the upcoming journey to the Dovin Volcano. Lilia, assist them with anything they need, would you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, hi! I almost forgot. You might want to have a look around town. There's been a few peeps around town saying they saw a rider in the square. What? A rider? Maybe it's Cheval! Let's go check it out, partner! But wait up! I'm coming too! Okay, I am ready. I am ready. Something's been bugging me. The rider in the desert. Was it really Cheval? I see. Will the Cheval we know ever come back? You know, forests remind me of the day Cheval went missing. I feel like... like the Cheval that ran away is still lost somewhere in the forest. And we're still searching for that child among the trees, hoping he'll turn up. Cheval suffered so much ever since the day Hakum Village was attacked. But no matter how I try, I can't do anything to save him. Don't be so hard on yourself. He has his own way of thinking. He made his own choice to leave the village. Think of how much he gets to travel. He'll become a great rider. I know it. Yeah. Come on, let's go into town. Maybe we'll find Cheval. According to Lilia, another rider was seen in Gildegarin. Could it be Cheval? Or maybe Avinia? Lilia seems concerned, so you should search for that rider. Oh yeah, isn't there like a wasn't there like a like a bigger dude? Like a heavy set guy that you kind of become friends with? I think I remember him. I don't know what he has as a monster though. My wares! Have you heard of writers? Well, now you can be one with a kinship stone. You can trust me, chum. I'm a rider. Oh yeah, he was a oh, fake a rider. rider. <laughs> That's why I couldn't remember what his monster was. Like he doesn't have one. Mistaken identity, I guess. They make great souvenirs. The price? A billion zenny. But I have a special deal for you, for today only! 999 zenny! Huh? This isn't a kinship stone. It certainly looks like one, but it's a fake! Wait, so you got... a real kinship stone? That means... Yeah! My buddy is a real rider! Where did you get these fake stones, kid? We'll know if you're lying, so tell us the truth! No! I wasn't lying! Not really! I got them in the Dovin Tunnels! A guy there told me that they were real! The Dovin Tunnels? In Dovin Volcano? Didn't that doctor come from the volcano? We should check it out! Uh, Alright then! Later, chum! Hey! Stop right there! Whoa! He's certainly light on his paws! I thought we'd finally get to see Cheval. It'll be fine. We'll see him again someday. You three have a bond. Anyway, seems like there's a lot of noise coming from the port. See, I, I, I remembered him. I mean, he looked like main character, but... <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't have a monster. He wasn't a rider. I remembered him, though. I remember, I was like, oh, yeah, wasn't there that guy? I mean, I forgot the fact that he wasn't a rider and was pretending, but... 
He was colorful enough to remember. Oh, this is my favorite cutscene. Hey, look, we're flying! Flying! This is soresome. I've traveled far and wide, but I've never seen anything like this. If we pass over the desert, we'll reach Geo Folk, right? Ratha, the monster you forged a bond with so long ago, is alive. Ride the grown up Ratha and fly to the Don Dovan. Donovan? <laughs> Dovan Volcano. According to Simone, Dr. Menelger is there. Head for the village in the volcano. Okay, I will, uh, stop here so I can, like, train up my- Oh, I think I see a- <laughs> I see a gold one over there. So I can train up my, uh, rarity four monsties. And do that. Also, what level is he? <laughs> uh, what level is he? We need to know. I also cannot check. Unless I- Okay, hello? How is this all- This is not all grown up Ratha. Like- <laughs> Like, I'm sure we only get them to, like, maybe, like, adolescent teens. Like, how are the bosses are fucking ginormous compared to our monsties? Yeah. 